Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte, bringing you a banger. Don't forget to go follow on my Twitch, please. Here, you will never miss out on daily payday content. I mean, pump shotguns, to an extent, are pretty good. If you can get them, like, crit and, like, I don't know, if you really want to go Zerk, but Zerk is an option. For next perk build video, well, that will be debated on the actual perk itself. So, I'm pretty sure you can get like one hit kills on some of them, aren't, aren't you able to? Once you trigger your 75% buff, isn't it like a one hit kill on some of them pumps? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually wondering at this point. Pretty sure though, headshot with like a, you know, a fucking 170 damage, I don't know if that's actual damage, but I think the judge deals something like that, making like one hit kill shit, so easily the pumps can one hit kill shit. I mean, there's plenty of perks that we can build with shotguns, it just depends on the perk that I'm going to be using next. If it's something like Gambler, no, I don't want to sit there and charge into battle with a pump shotgun. But maybe it'll be ideal. We don't know yet. I hate that spot. I always go there and get shot in my back. You get shot through the wall. Rob Thanatos is here. Tell him to fix it. Call Overkill to fix it. They shoot you through this wall. It's bullshit. Solid for the player, but not for the cops. So. How do you mess that up? I think I don't even need body expertise in this build, honestly. I think I'm gonna save points and uh, not good for body expertise, but we'll see. It's nice in the build. I might switch to the AMR-16 as well. Dead? Nope. Trick is better. Put you with the buckshot, go boom. I mean, yeah, it'd be buckshot right across. Um, we have plenty of perks left though. We've only done Kingpin, Rogue, and we're in the works of Crook right now. So. Anything that I didn't, didn't just name. Well, buckshot with surefire is not bad. I personally use that. Buckshot with surefire. That's our, that's like flechette ammo right there, basically, with keeping the 15 damage, so. You just don't have the, the range ability, obviously, but as a shotgun, nowadays, you just gotta play the part, you gotta play close range. So with the kingpin build, it just made more sense, right? You've got, you know, invincibility factor that you can always, you know, click in and have run for you. Looks pretty good though. I mean, two shot armor is probably my more preferred way of playing it. Is the word I want to use. While the uh, the extra dodge and one shot armor and multi shot for the you know lower damage types is decent, is profitable. I just don't deem it the better way. I'll probably feature it still in the video. I might make another, you know, few builds for it. I just don't want to go too heavy into joining both builds because it's it's one of those weird builds. You know what I mean? It's clearly okay. This is controversial to say it this way, but it's clearly better 
with two shot armor because of the way that the build presents itself, right? It presents itself with armor regen buff, it, pre it presents itself with dodge with the armor, it presents itself with an armor increase on the ballistic vest that you're able to stack dodge onto. So clearly you want to go for a build that, you know, is investing in the armor, investing into, you know, these things that I just named. Right, your armor value, your armor region, and you know, shit like that. So, going for like the HP just kind of is backwards almost. Yeah, obviously you can go armor and HP stack up. But you still don't get the two shot armor. Unless you meet the requirements of damage reduction quota. Which a crew chief plus, you know, two other styles of damage reduction that you the player have to grab like the uh, the quick fix and underdog both have to be triggering and then you also have to include the crew chief at that point to be able to actually get yourself two shot armor with heavy ballistic vest inside of HP based brook now I know that's a lot that was just you know said but basically what that means is you have to have Iron Man you have to have damage reduction skills, two forms of the damage reduction skills. You have to have a teammate who is crew chief on the team. You have to have hostages. You have to have the you know the damage reduction stack up, and then after all that is met, then you're able to have two shot armor. That's almost like the 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 way people play anarchists, right? They run around with one shot armor and uh, you know frenzy basic. And then they grab a joker for 220 armor in the suit and then they deem that their their method of getting two shot armor right when yeah that's that's a decent way of keeping two shot armor but what happens when your joker dies oh well now you're one shot armor and if you've been playing from the two shot and then playing that method you know what i'm saying like that's the same you know same way as soon as you take it away it's just it's a rough build and the anarchist every time your armor breaks if it's a armor gate every time you know play play style it uh may not play you know so well Where the fuck is the bag? I mean, hello? Nice, my dude.
That's how you do it, Wokes. Tough fight, huh? Well, you came out on top, and that's the important thing. A recess is over, fellas. Let's get back in business. Time to finish this shit. Well then. No town crooks. Quiet. 